morning! Sobrang kalat na ng kwarto ko. Uh, pakita ko pala sa inyo yung view sa labas. Kasi may liwanag na ng konti. Two hours lang kasi yung daytime namin dito eh. Ah, I can open this. Oof. Oh wow, that, that's, that, this is like the first time. The ferry there. You can see it. Looks so nice. I don't know if it's like the same. That's how it looks like during daytime. I mean, now it's like 10, no, almost 11, and the sun just came up. So, pretty late. And the sun will probably go down, or we will have the sunset around 2 p.m. or 3. So, it's super, super late here. And look at the window, guys, it's all frozen there. That's Finland. Look at those three. Woof woof. Super icy talaga. At super lamek. Feeling ko, para ang weather today is um, minus 11. So, medyo malambig na siya. Anyway, I had so much fun for the New Year's Eve. And the plan for today is we're gonna go skiing. So, I'm not really confident with my skills when it comes to ski skiing because I've only done it in a, in once and it was in a flat surface somewhere also here in Lapland. So, it's gonna be fun. At least someone will teach me. So, and then for tonight, um, we book a, a trip that will go to, that will bring us to Northern Lights. Um, there's a chance to see it tonight and sana sana talaga makita namin hello guys so now we're heading to rent um, the ski shoes and she ski materials that we're gonna use for the whole day and I'm a bit terrified like what I said I've never done so much ski but I will still do it because I think it's gonna be still fun so yeah this is how it looks like here oopsie it's super nice Super nice, isn't it? My friends are all walking the way there. Oops. Really It's the Iron Man shoes for snowboarding. Iron Man shoes, baby. And this is my ski. I'm so, ex I'm so excited, but I don't know if I'm gonna do good, but I will still do it. I'm just waiting for my friend. Just getting the ski pass for me and we're gonna go. So we started to ski around like 1 p.m. and we took the cable car from zero point all the way up to the peak of the slope to catch the sunset. Guys, we made it to the sunset at 2 p.m. And now I'm going to show you how hard it is to walk through the snow. 
Oi. Super hard. Oi. But it's so much fun. I didn't have the chance to record myself while skiing because it was really, really cold and I focused on how to learn it. And it requires so much effort to learn. After several hours of trying how to ski, well, it's obvious that I still didn't learn, but I swear I still enjoyed it. Then I just decided to go back to my room to have some rest. Back to my room. Gosh, I sweat so much. I don't even know how the heck I made it here. It's so tiring. It's super, super tiring. My, 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 my entire leg right now is like completely sore. Like I can feel, I can feel at least half of it. Gosh. But it still is so fun. I just dried my hair and I think I'm gonna go back skiing again. But should I still continue going skiing or not? I will go. With these shoes, it's really hard to walk. I honestly feel like I am wearing Iron Man shoes because of this. You will hear when I start walking. Wait! This is where we're staying, called Panorama. It's like one of the most um, famous restaurant here in Levy. Alright guys, so this is the view from the behind the place where we're staying and that's a gondola that's the ride going downtown so if you're, because since, since the place where we're staying is like all the way up here you can take that for free if you're staying in the panorama to go down to the town and that is the town it's so beautiful Look at that. Ooh, it's so it's very very Christmas. Yep, and that's the view. And this is the place where we stay. Like that's a panorama hotel, um restaurant and hotel, and this one is another hotel, and that is the downtown. You actually have two options to go all the way downtown. It's either you take the nearly 700 steps in a frozen stairway, which is I highly recommend because it's really fun. Let it go, let it go. Oh, this is nice. Or take the gondola. Well, I did both because why not? So now I'm in a gondola and I just put my ski right there, hanging outside. And it's going down now. Close and close and it's now safe. Yeah, it's already like sunset time. I don't know if you can see it clearly, but it's so beautiful. All so guys, you should come visit this country or this place in Finland called Levi. It's one of the best places where you can ski and it's one of the best places as well for holiday. It's super, super worth it. Oh, there's a giant Christmas tree over there. I don't know if you can see it from the camera. Ooh, it's so high, guys. I don't know if you can see, but literally it's so high. Honestly guys, if you're wearing these shoes, this is definitely like the worst shoes you can ever wear. It's actually easy if you're gonna ski, but I'm not really good at it, so now I need to find where is that place so I can return this gears and I will show you a little bit of the downtown. Hello guys, so I just returned the shoes and the ski um, equipment and when I took off the shoes, I swear to God. It was like the best 
experience and most relaxing experience I've had so far. Now I'm walking in with my normal shoes and it feels so amazing. Oh gosh. Yeah, so now I'm walking downtown so I can show you around. So this is a downtown, they have actually like different kind of restaurant, they have like different fast food like Subway, um, Burger King, um, they have like Asian restaurants, um, pizza place, winter sport um, shops, and different kinds of bar. So while I'm walking here in downtown, I see the slope where I came from. It's all the way up there. It's super far. Okay, I will show you um, using my back camera. There you go. That's the place where, we, where we're staying. That's the panorama. And it took, we took the cable cart. Wait, that cable cart all the way. All the way up there. And we ski from all the way up there, like all the way up, up, up. Well, definitely you won't see it here, but it's all the way up there. Down to the zero point. So that is that is zero point. That's where you usually get your ski pass. Um, so you can take the cable car to go all the way up because if you're gonna walk all the way up, you're, you're gonna die. So we just booked a trip. Um, a friend of mine will be going on a group trip to see the Northern Lights. It will leave like 8.45, so now I'm heading back to my hotel to have some rest because my leg is super sore and it's really, really painful. I hope we can, you know, have the chance to see the Northern Lights because that's one of the main reasons why I went here. So, I need prayers. <laughs> so, so far, um, at the moment, we have like a clear sky. There's still like at least three KPL. Um, or like a possibility to see the northern lights for the aurora and I hope it will stay still so please please give us the northern lights we started the northern light trip around 8 45 in the evening we walk all the way from the downtown to the bus stop We hopped in the bus and drove all the way to the lake or to the spot where to catch the Aurora Borealis. You have to be in a perfect spot with zero light pollution or complete darkness to have a good visibility of the northern lights. It was almost minus 20 degrees Celsius that night. I was freezing, shivering, but in my head I was just hoping to see the northern lights. After nearly 30 minutes of waiting outside in the cold, the crowd started screaming, cheering, because the northern lights somehow appeared. After a few minutes, the crowd went crazier and louder because the northern lights gave us its complete full Phenomenon Blue. Mixed emotions, teary-eyed, speechless, because it's the most beautiful natural phenomenon 
I have ever seen in my entire life. Hope you guys liked the video today and hope you will also visit the levy. I am 100% sure that it's really worth it to see. And please like and subscribe. So see you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Bye.